not. What does Tennessee football have to do to get stronger in order to win the Southeastern Conference, Harbin? In football? In football, yes. What does Tennessee football have to do to get stronger in order to win the SEC? Um, top three recruiting classes. Um, top five O-line and D-line in the country. Um, and a stronger secondary. I uh, think everything else is fairly good. I think on I think skill position wise on offense, I think we're there. Um I think we need to beef up the O line, get it really strong. Um I think our front seven's damn near as good as anybody's, truthfully, this year. Uh if everybody's healthy, I think depth is a part of that as well. Uh we need to get we need to get deeper for sure. Uh, the difference between us. The difference Whoa. Between, Whoa. The difference between us <laughs> and the contenders is we have rebuild years. They have reload years. Um, it's kind of like Tennessee baseball. You know, like we're not expecting a dip because we got guys behind them. They're just as good. Um, we got to have depth. Got to beef up the whole line. Uh, and our secondary is spotty. Um, it's – we're young, which I think can be a good thing. I would rather see mistakes out of young guys than see mistakes out of fifth-year guys. Uh, and that's no disrespect to the fifth-year guys because they put a lot into this program, getting it to where it is. But if a 18-year-old is going full speed and makes a mis- – mistake i am 100 percent on board with that more than seeing a 23 year old make the same mistake 15 times um that's one thing um but for the most part it's depth it's trenches and secondary i think that's what it takes i think as far as skill position goes, I think we're pretty good, but we need more of them. You know, I, I agree with everything you said. I, I've said this for a long time, and I know I'm not a football expert, but you win and lose in the SEC with your front seven. And Tennessee's not been great the past few years, uh, front seven. Now, under Hopple, it has gotten better, especially off, offensive line has been pretty good under him, even though he hadn't really recruited – any high school players at that position, that's something to watch he needs to do, um, or none of them have stuck. But depth is the big thing with me. For Tennessee to win the SEC or to compete, be a legitimate threat for the SEC championship, they got to they got to recruit depth. I, I made no bones about it toward the end of the season last year. Our secondary de- depth was horrible. And it showed that Georgia game they threw all over us. Um, now, against Vandy, of course, Vandy's terrible. It, it was a little bit better. But our depth toward the end of the year, we had a lot of injuries, a lot of stuff going on there. We had no depth. Uh, a lot of guys left the secondary after this year, and so we had a lot of turnover at that position. So that might be a good thing because they weren't very good last year, in my opinion. Now, they, they weren't bad at the start of the year, but things got progressively worse as the year went along. But I agree with what you said. They gotta They got to keep recruiting – Depth is a big thing. I mean, think about where this program was when Heupel came in. It was in disarray. Uh, very thin, not much there except on at skill positions. He's done a very good job recruiting at the skill position. Just got a big recruit yesterday, four-star wide receiver Travis Hunter out of Atlanta, who was almost virtually, if you looked at recruiting services, a lock for Georgia, but turned down Georgia, Auburn, and Alabama to come to Knoxville next year. Um but he's got to keep recruiting those guys, but he's got to be able to build up that depth in the secondary and in the front seven. Uh, I think he's on the path to doing that. Um, I would like to see in the next couple of years, though, us get it get consistently in the top 10 in recruiting. Right now we're hovering between <laughs> we're hovering between 10 and 15. And that's that's good. 
But look at the top 10 to 15. It's all SEC. So we're actually probably more like seven or eight. So that was my answer to that. And I think Tennessee's on the cusp. And you're right. We're having to rebuild still to a certain extent. I think we're getting close. I told Walker actually this the other day. You know, Tennessee baseball reloads. Tennessee men's basketball reloads. Tennessee football is kind of reloading at certain positions, but then they're still having to build at others. So we're not quite there yet. But I think they're, I think they're close. Um, if he can keep winning eight, nine games every year and keep building, I think things will be trending in the right direction. 